Uh, there we go, all the different kind of mounts I've got. And we can kind of see which one we want. But uh, let's see what we have here. This is a mobile phone tripod. This is a decent one too, looks like. Let's take a look at this one here. Even this one might work too for us. iPhone 6 success camera mount. Let's look at this one. So a lot of times it's come in two parts. Okay, here it is. So these are different components. Okay, the different kind of film that they're recommending there. You can see the design components. Here's a screw for that. Two other sides. The nut and the Nia plate for it, so you can kind of see how that plays together. So you download this, you download a single file. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and download this particular. Well, actually, let's take a look what we got here. You can see. Um, let's see what we have. So like this might work for us too. take a look you can see there's a lot of different uh, things you can build with this so this is they got this component here I really need something that's going to screw into the base or it'll be self self-supporting you see this has got these pieces here so that's great they, they have notes usually talking about what they're they, that they would work for anyway let's go and find something simple and we'll build it from there Go back to this one here. This is a good one, I think. Let's try this one. So we download the files. You can tip the designer if you uh, if you like the file. And um, here it goes. So a folder. Here we go. So we'll extract that. Oh, here it is. Okay. So here's our files. Top six, six plus. Okay, there it is. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so now what we need to do is we'll go in here to our Ultima Ultimaker. And this is our slicer. We use the Ultimaker slicer to process these files to turn them into something, turn them into something that the printer can use. Okay, here it is. So we're open this up. And for the Sunlu S8, I use the Creality RCR10. It's almost the same size and the function of the printer is very, very similar. I find those parameters work the best. So I go to a preset printer, which is the Creality, C uh, Creali Creality CR10 and use that with its default settings. Also have settings over here. So let's go and open this up and you'll see uh, camera mount. So let's take this piece here and you see the actual mount. We can move this around. And our build plate's big enough that we can actually move this around. <coughs> we can print this all simultaneously. So we'll open each of these files up. Mount bolt. Put this one over here. Okay. Uh, mount nut. Put that one here. This build area here is already preset to the size of the Sunu S8. So uh, with the CR10, it's pretty close. I can be pretty confident that if I'm somewhere within here, I should be okay. And then um, let's go to the iPhone 6 top. Okay, there it is. I'll move this over. Right here, that should be fine. But they're closer together. They won't have to go so far to, to print, it, print itself out. Okay, great. You see how this piece here fits in this piece here, the bolt and the nut. Okay, so another thing we need to look at is we're going to need, let's see, zoom on in here and kind of see these parts. So I want to go up here and modify the standard fill. And uh, I did 20% on one of my last ones. I'm going to take this one to 25%, just a little bit more. And then I wanted, I need to actually add some support like this area here. It's going to need support because of the overhang. So we're going to add support. Anything that's over 45 degrees, I'll add support and it'll build that on its own. 
Okay, we'll do a speed, 40 uh, millimeters per second. That should be fine for now. We'll modify that, tweak it as we need to on the actual printer. All right, so we like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and make sure we had a... Uh, yep, okay, good. All right, close it out. We'll slice it. Notice the slicing it takes a second for it to process through. Okay, it's gonna it's gonna take three hours and fifty one minutes. It says, so I'm gonna save it to removable. Here it is. I CCCR ten dash iPhone mount G code. The G code is what we're gonna use. Okay, so let's check that. All right, we're ready to go. And uh, here it is. Pull it out. We've already ejected it. We're ready to go. So I'll take it out of this piece here. I'll put that in the uh, assembly by seat. Here's the S uh, Sunlu S8, and I've put the piece down here. Push that in there, and then we'll go and turn on this particular one. Got to be a little careful with the uh, plate, so you actually reach down here underneath. You see that? Turn on that way. I'll turn on. Let's see how that looks here. Okay, so that's what we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, Already got it set up, you can see it right here. Clean the plate right here. I'll put the uh, glue on top. This is a glass base, so I'll use glue to help it in here. You just scroll down the bottom there, go print from SD, and this is the next one right here. So the iPhone mount. It's gonna start the bed heating. You notice it's gonna go to its presets of 50 degrees. This is gonna wait until this reaches the base temperature, which is right here, reaches 50 degrees. And then will happen the nozzle heat up it's basically like a glorified glue gun that's what this thing is and it'll run its filament through here i've got to set here i'm going to actually unwind it in time i find that a lot of times it pulls it out and uh if i'm not careful it gets stuck so i kind of do that on my own to kind of keep that moving but um as this base heats up you kind of feel it get hotter i will uh put the glue on and then uh, let it start printing So I put the glue on here, it's reached about 39 degrees C, so I'm going to start to push some of this on here. And it melts more once I have some heat on here, especially when it's kind of cold outside currently, so this is going to help it. But it has to have something to adhere to, otherwise it won't, it won't adhere to it. So while it heats up, I'm going to go ahead and push the... Uh, That's good. We'll move this a little warmer. It's good. Just move it like that. Get the glue on there. And since this has got more space, since uh, I'm building multiple components at the same time, I'm going to go ahead and make sure I get it all over. This is pretty easy to wash off. I just wash this off in the sink, use some paper towels, dry it off. Seems to work fine. So I should take care of that. But like I said, we want that to work for us. Okay, here we go.
Okay, here they are. So here's the base, the top, the bolt, and the nut. So as you can see, it fits just fine together like that. Just screw in there. And then I just have to remove these supports right here. There's the supports right there. And then usually just a screwdriver will just pop those out. Same for this here. You see the supports on the side. And then we just combine this here. And that's it. That's how we do it. Okay, here it is fully assembled. And you can see this piece here. So I can get a little better lighting on this. See how the meat fits through there. But this screws on and tightens down as you put the bolt on the nut. And it holds the uh, phone in place. Yeah, I look forward to looking, uh, using this in the future, but I uh, hope this is a good demo on how to use the S3, uh, the Sunno S, uh, sorry, the Sunno S8 printer.